With the news of Donald Trump testing positive for the coronavirus, come huge questions over the fate of his second term bid and the last few months of his current mandate. Under the 25th Amendment, if Trump were too incapacitated to be president, he could ask Vice President Mike Pence to take over. If Pence were unable to take the reins, then according to the Presidential Succession Act, the Speaker of the House of Representatives and Democrat Nancy Pelosi would assume the role of president. While this would pose a massive headache for government, the U.S. is not unaccustomed to a transfer of power scenario. Back in 1985, for example, Ronald Reagan, while ongoing surgery, made his vice president, George H.W. Bush, acting president for eight hours. If Trump were unable to stand in the upcoming elections, the Republican Party would need to hold a vote to designate a nominee. The Republican Party has a national committee and they have a procedure to replace a candidate who gets ill or dies. And in all likelihood, that would be the vice president, Mike Pence. But they would go through a vote. Early votes would further complicate things were Trump to withdraw his candidacy. Millions of ballots have already been sent out. Experts say the Republican Party could change the name of the candidate with a court order. But with time already running out, this would be difficult to secure. The U.S. is legally obligated to hold elections on the 3rd of November this year. A vote to change this would unlikely pass through the Democratic-controlled House of Representatives. However, rescheduling the election would be the first of the House's woes in this scenario. Under the Constitution, President Trump's four-year term comes to an end on the 20th of January, 2021. Altering this would mean a change to the Constitution, which some say is unlikely to ever happen.